Innovation in the Construction Industry, How to Overcome the Major Barriers to Propel Growth The global construction industry is one of the largest industrial sectors yet it has gained notoriety as being the least efficient. McKinsey reports that while the productivity in other industries has grown at an average annual rate of 3%, the growth in the construction sector has averaged only 1% per annum in the last two decades. This statistic alone is a testament to the fact that the construction industry is far from being at the forefront of technological innovation and modernization. It goes without saying that no industry can thrive in the modern economic environment without embracing technical and procedural innovation. Some argue that the research and development investment by the construction sector has lagged behind other large-scale industries such as manufacturing which has contributed to the reluctance and glacial pace of deploying new and innovative initiatives. Although it's true, lack of R&D is only a fraction of the problem as inefficiencies run much deeper than that in the construction industry. Effective and targeted innovation in the construction industry has great potential as it can translate into better housing, greater living, and working circumstances, reduced infrastructure costs, sustainable development, and construction business that is competitive and profitable all across the world. Let's delve deeper into the topic by exploring the idea of innovation, the barriers in its path, and how construction businesses can overcome them to reshape the industry and drive sustainable growth. Understanding Innovation in the Context of Construction Just like many other concepts and ideas, it is quite difficult to define innovation in absolute terms, particularly from an industrial perspective. There has been a lot of debate about the term and there are many definitions that exist concurrently. That being said, Innovation is generally understood to be the use of substantial modification and improvement in a system, process, or product that is new to the organization or industry creating it. When it comes to the construction industry, there are different forms of innovation including Incremental innovation is gradual and stems from current knowledge and experience. Radical innovation usually comes from a scientific or technological breakthrough. Modular innovation is rooted in the evolution of a particular component of a system. Architectural innovation combines components and systems in a new way. Systemic innovation integrates different types of innovations for enhanced efficiency. Because each construction development project is unique, construction businesses must customize their methods and materials to meet the needs of each project. Every construction site is a one-of-a-kind model that evolves over time. These construction sites are dispersed around different regions, and workers and equipment are constantly in motion. As a result, even though technological ideas to particular issues contribute to the improvement in experience and practices of the organization, as advancement is conducted on a one-off grounds, it does not invariably impact the construction business as much unless it is easy to embed it into the business's comprehensive management procedures. That's where a digitalization platform like Canbo can enable construction organizations to build and implement organized innovation management strategies for better outcomes. The implementation of excellent ideas is no longer sufficient for innovation, it must be transformed into a method that can be monitored, quantified, and governed. This is exactly why the standardization of innovation has become very crucial. As a management process, it's important to see innovation as such. It may be controlled and enhanced by various teams of the organization and integrated into the other activities of the firm. It is possible for a business to receive major benefits by standardizing its management of innovation. Streamlining of work processes. In the medium and long run, improving the firm's efficiency and productivity. Better integration of management procedures with entire corporate strategy. Efficient use of the company's resources. Knowledge about new processes and products can be codified. To provide complete satisfaction to each and every customer. It has to be kept in mind that innovation in construction is not necessarily profit-driven. The construction sector, in particular, 
must find methods to change its processes and technology in order to address the growing government and public concern for sustainability and environmental preservation. Barriers to Innovation in Construction Prior to coming up with an effective organized innovation strategy, it is crucial for construction businesses to develop a sound understanding of the factors that usually cause friction and turn into stubborn barriers. Without having the comprehension and scope of these challenges and hurdles, it is not entirely possible for a construction organization to develop an optimized innovation initiative. Innovation is often client-driven. Customers and manufacturers are major players in fostering innovation in the sector. In the construction industry, clients are often seen as having a significant impact on the businesses and persons engaged in the process. There is a range of methods that clients may contribute to the advancement of building innovation. Construction product vendors, builders, and administrators may be pushed to enhance building lifespan efficiency and design agility to deal with unpredictability, and they can be pushed to expect better quality standards from everyone involved in a project. Clients that have high expectations and are well-versed in the industry are more inclined to encourage new ideas in the projects they request. Moreover, clients who have in-house construction management communities, undertake research and development or design projects internally, augment their industry expertise, have a reputation for innovation and professionalism, and sustain committed relationships with the same architects and contractors are likely to set the prerequisites for organizational innovation on a project. Innovation-Resistant Organizational Culture a company's culture may be described as a collection of rules and values that all stakeholders of the organization share and that influence their behavior. Cultural traditions, corporate terminology, and tales all contribute to how people express their thoughts and principles, whether they are explicitly stated or implicitly conveyed. Organizational culture has a significant impact on the capacity of an organization to innovate or just embrace innovative thoughts, technologies, and management styles. The organization's rules are regarded to have a significant impact on the kind of effect it has. Innovation may be stifled by an organization's refusal to accept inherent risk as innovation is a dangerous endeavor by definition. We can't consistently forecast the effects of implementing novel concepts, attitudes, and practices since they don't always operate as predicted. Individuals and organizations are typically only incentivized for innovation when the outcomes are instantly lucrative. It's a good idea to have these reward structures in place, but the disproportionate discouragement attached to employing technologies whose outcomes or execution were less than stellar has to be minimized, as well. The short-term emphasis on the financial success of certain businesses is another crucial element of the organizational environment that might limit innovation. Organizations like this tend to be reactionary in nature, which means that they often dwell on recent history. Conventional stability and regard for established rituals are important to them. For the sheer reason that innovation is about disrupting entrenched power connections and patterns, the pace of adoption and dissemination of new products, technologies, or concepts within these organizations is likely to be relatively low. Regulatory Concerns and Challenges Restrictions on market activity and corporate sector conduct are usually referred to as regulations, and they are defined as any legislative or regulatory measures taken by the authorities to monitor the situation. It's common for the government to intervene in the economy because it's necessary to safeguard the well-being of society. The path of technological advancement is heavily influenced by government regulations, which have a significant impact on consumer demand. These restrictions and regulatory requirements have had a history of causing a detrimental impact on innovation throughout the world. Industrial organizations, the markets they operate in, and how they engage with their key stakeholders may all be affected by regulations. Businesses have experienced that regulations make it harder to cut costs, operate flexibly, decrease speed to market, and eliminate ambiguity in their services. As a result, extensive research by companies may be hindered and technology choices may be distorted by excessive legislation. 
Due to competition laws, businesses are discouraged to leverage links and collaborate with clients and vendors. There are several antitrust problems that arise from the capacity of innovation-driven companies to collaborate, such as vertical and horizontal partnerships and alliances. The development of laws relies heavily on the expertise of the main stakeholders. It is up to the establishment of suitable channels and access to fresh information to determine how much encouragement for technology advances there will be. Regulators require industry understanding of market circumstances, sophisticated practices and technologies, core competencies, production technology, and technological capabilities. When implementing performance techniques, it's important to keep in mind that they won't always encourage innovation. To avoid constant reliance on obsolete methods, regulators must have a thorough understanding of current technology. Rigid Supply Chain and Acquisition Structures The most detrimental procurement procedures to innovation are those that prohibit construction businesses from taking a chance on using unconventional techniques and materials. Some examples of these organizations include those that place a high value on pace and immediacy or compete on the basis of cost alone, impose inflexible role obligations or foster combative and self-protective attitudes. Building owners and contractors can choose from many different types of procurement methods. These include the more traditional lump-sum method, design-build, construction management solution as well as project management framework such as on-call multitask contracting, fixed maximum price, and boot which translates to build, own, operate, transfer. Contracts with conventional aggregate payments are the most conservative and have the highest negative impact on new ideas. Acquisition methods that are more inventive may contribute to increased innovation outputs. The existence of a well-integrated team is critical for generating innovation in a supply chain from a creativity standpoint. Partnerships in set contracts are two possible approaches to facilitating communication, education, and ingenuity on simple projects. More complicated projects may benefit from an agreement such as design-build, construction management, or project management also known as boot. The approaches of acquisition that promote the unification of the building team increase the benefits of innovation. For the aforementioned contract types to work better, customer engagement approaches such as teaming up or collaborating on projects can be used. The one-off nature of construction production One of the biggest issues in the construction business is the character of production and its detrimental effects on innovation, several of which seem to be inherent whereas others originate from tradition. Construction projects' impermanent or one-time aspect is one of the most challenging facets of the industry. This is linked to a lack of continuity in the creation and transmission of information across and also within enterprises. It's rare that a new idea may be applied to a variety of circumstances, which reduces the value of new ideas as well as their accompanying motivations. In many cases, the product itself isn't conducive to fostering the kind of environment that supports creativity and new ideas. As a rule of thumb, constructed buildings are supposed to be very long-lived. Both of these have a detrimental impact on innovation. One of the initial effects is that it encourages a predisposition for proven methods. Then the outcome is that the vendors are under obligation to continue using materials and components long into the future, which reduces the motivation for producers to modify product lines. Construction management methods that have been around for a long time have been criticized for stifling creativity. It's common practice in the construction industry to divide the project into distinct modules, each of which is bought separately and executed by an expert. Project processes are thus vulnerable to disruptions. Instituting binding agreements that shift the liability down the supply chain is the only method to control the potential risks of such disruptions. As a result, tried-and-true techniques become more important to the producers, and parties' capacity and desire to innovate are severely hampered. Uncertainty of outcome causing reluctance Paranoia and a change in perspective are the most significant roadblocks to developing new processes, especially creative ones. 
As a rule, those who desire to preserve the status quo are hesitant to change. Introducing a cohesive approach is challenging in the construction sector because of the divisions between the various specialties. Architects, subcontracting businesses, planners, and home builders all have their own obstacles and objections when it pertains to using the same processes. It's also important to consider the seniority of your workforce when it comes to adopting new technology. There's still a misconception that digital technology is exclusively utilized by a new generation of workers who are used to sending and receiving files through mobile devices like smartphones and tablets. There is a perception that seniors, particularly those in managerial positions, are less enthusiastic about new technologies. For one thing, they don't see the value in integrating new tech since it requires more staff time and resources. Such ingrained viewpoints may be quite tough to overcome. It is possible that innovators who prosper and depend on the latest tech may shift to other areas where it is commonly utilized as an essential tool. There are far too many construction companies that use old paper-based invoicing instead of adopting more contemporary, efficient digital methods as supply management evolves. In the procurement-to-pay system, there is too much possibility for mistakes and inefficiency due to the use of paper, manual processes, and several other outdated procedures. Absence of focus on fostering informed-based relationships. Construction innovation is greatly influenced by strategic partnerships. A relationship's relevance resides in the ability to allow the transmission of communication between persons and businesses via encounters and exchanges. Connections and activities associated with product integration, work plan and collaboration, technology and practice dissemination, workforce migration, and data flows from various inputs are all examples of these kinds of engagement and exchanges. To innovate, construction companies must depend on the skills of other companies. This is made easier by a measure of ongoing collaboration amongst the people responsible for developing technologies, methods, and ideas in such a complex systems sector. Diverse industry partnerships that facilitate information flow may help to meet the problems posed by the design of building production. As a result of increased information exchange and far less hesitation to suggest inventive and new solutions, teaming or collaboration on building projects may result in more innovation advantages. Sustainable Development Goals for the Construction Sector Proposed by the United Nations Sustainability targets for big corporations have been suggested by the UN Department of Economic and Social Affairs. Nearly half of the 17 Sustainable Development Goals, SDGs, have everything to do with construction and development. The following are some important sustainability objectives for construction organizations aiming to become more innovative. SDG 6 – Provide accessibility to clean water and sanitation all people should be able to receive safe drinking water and sanitation under this specific objective. There are water shortages in many parts of the world, which are made worse by global warming in certain areas. Desalination and other energy-intensive processes are utilized in many places of the world when fresh water is scarce. Both of these essentials may be provided for the common people via the building industry's influence on local communities and financial resources. SDG 7 – Create Clean and Affordably Owned Energy This may be done by reducing the amount of energy used and lowering the costs per unit. Additionally, building contractors may begin constructing energy-efficient structures that have been planned by architects, civil engineers, and MEP professionals. Solar, wind, tidal, and geothermal energy are all examples of sustainable and affordable sources that may be used to generate power in an efficient manner for everyone. SDG 11 – Develop Sustainable Cities and Communities Green buildings, which offer electricity and water conservation solutions, are vital for cities to be viable. There are a number of factors that construction companies must consider when delivering sustainable structures, including the fact that in urban areas, individuals consume as much as 95% of their waking hours inside, which may have risen significantly since the pandemic started. 
efficient heat control, the use of ambient daylight wherever feasible, adaptive interiors, and quick access to the outdoors are all critical foundations of a green structure. These cities should also have systems in place to cope with extreme weather, including flood prevention and the maintenance of ventilation corridors and green areas for heat waves. SDG 12 Encourage Responsible Production and Consumption in order to ensure long-term, sustainable development in production and consumption, this goal aims to cut wastage and enhance efficiency. Just as with water, the attitude should be reduce, reuse, recycle. The use of cutting-edge design and digital technology allows for more ecologically responsible production. If we want to maintain our mineral wealth, we need to administer them wisely and responsibly at all times. In order to attain optimum cooperation with all stakeholders, building businesses may use the BIM platform, which enables the construction company to precisely quantify proportions and save waste production, labor, and expenditures. SDG 13 – Implement Anti-Climate Change Initiatives The damage produced by floods, droughts, and earthquakes, among other things, is one way we can witness the effects of global warming. Using cutting-edge engineering and design, clean power can be incorporated into constructing design to help combat global warming. There must be no waste or environmental damage as a result of this endeavor. It is possible for construction organizations to accomplish their sustainability initiatives by using a complete platform for work and business process management, such as Canbo. Executive-level managers, as well as team leaders and intermediate managers, can make high-performance judgments with continual and transparent availability of information and data analytics. Aside from everything, Canbo gives construction firms the chance to create and improve industry-specific processes and operational approaches. How Construction Organizations Can Lean on Innovation to Ensure Rapid Sustainable Growth Enhanced Reliance on Building Information Modeling BIM. Building Information Modeling BIM, or Building Information Management BIM, is an abbreviation. Multidisciplinary three-dimensional design and implementation are possible because it brings together a wide range of experts from the architectural and engineering fields as well as from the property and construction industries. Crucial to the construction industry will be the BIM's ability to depict project status in an interactive and transparent setting. Many construction companies might benefit from the new technology. Level 0 BIM features paper drawings and no coordination. Level 1 BIM features 2D designs with limited 3D modeling. Level 2 BIM features collaborative teamwork with individual 3D modeling. Level 3 BIM features teamwork with shared 3D modeling. Levels 4, 5, and 6 BIM feature scheduling, budgeting, and sustainable viability parameters. If you're in a large-scale industry, for instance, technology, you may have heard of the terminology failing fast. Attempting new ideas, although if they disappoint the very first time, may contribute to a subsequent iteration which leads to ultimate success. It is common for knowledge to be wasted as organizations shift from one stage of a construction project to the next. With BIM, data is gathered electronically and made accessible to whoever needs it, whenever they need it. Implementing BIM necessitates the creation of an ongoing stream of data. Everything from the initial designing phase through the property's ultimate deconstruction and disposal is documented digitally. In this way, the stakeholders may work together more effectively and collaborate efficiently to achieve the following benefits. Based on correct material takeoffs, the bidding procedure gets modernized. Overall reduced expenses. Reduction in the long-term expenses of a project. During building, drastically cut down on carbon emissions. Allows for better communication throughout the building process a better experience for the people who live or work in the building. Reduced energy and water usage achieved by improving MEP systems in the design process prior to construction. Planned maintenance is now possible thanks to BIM. Increased focus on automation and robotics. 
Despite the fact that contemporary construction relies heavily on human labor, advancements in technology have been gradually increasing with the introduction of conveyors and process equipment. The use of robotics, UAVs, driverless vehicles, 3D printing, and exoskeletons is becoming more prevalent. Automation is essential for satisfying demand and sustaining economic development where trained workers are in limited supply. Information-oriented help from artificial intelligence and machine learning can now be found in a variety of ways. Even while robots need a significant upfront investment, the return on that investment will more than make up for it in the long term. Because of the broad spectrum of applications that new types of robotics, such as interactive robotic devices and integrated logistics robots, are capable of performing, such robots will probably become more extensively used in the future. They can build walls, eliminate the need for an operator, use imaging technology, allow for remote operation, and perform tasks such as supervising and monitoring. Some of the major innovations in this area include the following. Humanoid laborers. As a result of the persistent labor shortage in many labor-intensive industries throughout the world, a team of Japanese researchers has developed HRP5P, a humanoid robot capable of doing simple physical repetitive tasks like drywall or bricklaying on its own. Exoskeletons. As a construction worker, moving big weights is a typical source of injury on the job site. So, exoskeletons may be a useful tool in this situation. Crews on construction sites use exoskeletons, which are robotically enhanced suits of armor. It is possible for them to assist people to carry larger weights while lessening the wear and tear on their muscles. Self-driving vehicles there is a variety of construction site equipment that is ready for automation, from excavators to dump trucks. Built robotics, for example, makes machines that can transport dirt and debris without the need for a human operator. Instead of being constrained to work hours, construction and site clearance activities might be done around the clock. On-site construction robots Whenever people seem to think of robots in construction, they may envision something like this. Construction androids like Hadrian X, a masonry robot, and Shimizu Corp's robo-welder have been used in concepts and testing in the past few years, as well. Drones Drones are becoming more common in the construction sector, and it's easy to see why. Safe operation and efficiency on building sites are enhanced by their adaptability. Using wireless remote and flying capacity, these robots are capable of delivering real-time data on a construction site without the usage of human staff, changing the life cycle of a project. Swarms of robots There are hundreds of tiny individual robot machines working together in robot swarms as opposed to humanoid laborers to perform routine monotonous site duties such as placing bricks. Small, four-wheeled robots that work together to execute tasks were designed and manufactured by Harvard University's Systems Research Group. Implementing Digitalization and Sustainability-Driven Innovation Individuals are eligible to function in innovative ways because emerging technologies are becoming more inexpensive and accessible. As digital services challenge established company structures, they are also impacting users, who are more likely to use them. As a consequence, consumers have more clout, and they demand more openness from the businesses with whom they do business. The COVID-19 pandemic has exacerbated the pace of digitalization, which was already a major trend prior to the pandemic. There is a rising need for interconnected technologies, as well as for reliability, performance, and style in new and enhanced products. Implicitly, the application of digital data and simulations aids in environmental preservation. Logistics procedures may be improved and resources conserved with effective management. A few instances include the logistics of moving materials to and from work sites and the digital planning of motorway maintenance. Errors may be avoided with digital modeling approaches, saving time and money by eliminating the requirement for reconstruction and the fabrication of new components. Automation of data collection and processing, such as through the use of robots, sensors, 
or other sensors may lead to better budgeting inefficiencies. Deployment of cloud, AI, and data analytics. A broad number of industries are presently using cloud-based scalable solutions. Cloud computing makes it feasible to access and share massive amounts of data from anywhere, at any time. In order to stay up with the competition, a cloud-based workplace mobile network may be essential. Additionally, cloud technology may make it simpler for construction businesses to obtain data while taking safeguards, making it easier to store large amounts of data. Devices that are connected to data analysis systems may gather information in the future. Cloud computing has a number of benefits, but the ability to store and handle vast volumes of data is critical for firms to meet their contractual obligations. There is a long-term opportunity for construction enterprises to gain from machine learning and analytics. On-site field conditions can be compared to pre-construction conditions using learning algorithms in combination with pattern recognition and reality capture. This integrated and holistic use case is important for the whole construction process, from pre-construction to manufacturing and completion of the project. When applied to an existing project, artificial intelligence may be used to enhance timeliness and fulfill deadlines and deviations from plans can be discovered and corrected in real time. The use of artificial intelligence and machine learning in the construction sector will be restricted in the foreseeable future, and this is not entirely unwarranted. There are just a few CEOs that have the processes, resources, and current data strategy in place to efficiently apply this technology. However, the industry just can't ignore it any longer owing to its immense potential. Unconventional industrial actors are becoming a greater threat as AI techniques become increasingly cross-sectoral. Startups that concentrate on artificial intelligence AI, are already gaining commercial traction. Betting on digital twin and modularization technologies In the virtual world, a digital twin is a digital representation of a physical thing that includes all of that entity's past and current resources and technology as well as all of its data and activities. Using data collected by sensors, a digital twin produces a digital facsimile of a real structure. Having a second duplicate makes it much easier to test, change, and improve a physical structure. Organizations may use digital twins to boost productivity, apply safety requirements, lower risks, and boost quality. BIM may be improved by using digital twins as a digital fabric that is connected directly to a structural system. Digital twins may be used to check that a newly developed asset is meeting specific sustainability and other performance metrics. It is becoming more common in the building industry to use prefabricated, standard components made off-site. If used systematically in projects where they are economically sustainable, these approaches might boost industrial output by 500%. A system like this would encompass a wide range of applications, such as a 2D or 3D model of the building's components may be used to automate the prefabrication process. Construction robots, such as welders or bricklayers. Self-driving heavy equipment can make construction more efficient, safer, and less expensive. Exoskeletons and wearable robotics may be augmented by the usage of robotic arms. Allowing for the production of high-performance, long-lead components such as joints using metal 3D printing. Fostering innovation, the role of Canbo. For organized innovation management, your construction company needs a digital platform that can manage all of your operations and serve as a central hub whether you're a startup or a huge enterprise. Canbo's work and business process management platform is flexible and adaptable for construction enterprises of any size. Creating organizational silos of conventional communicational channels such as email is no longer necessary for building contractors when it comes to cross-departmental interaction and the generation of new ideas and discoveries. Canbo provides the building blocks for any form of hierarchical organization from the CEO down to the lowest level employee. Canbo is a C-level executive's digital headquarters. 
Canbo provides easy access to critical information for the company's network of collaborators, such as goals and projects, responsibilities and abilities, and internal communications. An agile work management platform might be used as a digital headquarters for senior management if desired. Full visibility of Canbo means executives in the building business now have fast access to data and analytics presented in a visually appealing fashion. Corporate decision-making speed and accuracy might be advantageous to an organization's overall innovation strategy. Low-code platform from Canbo can be used by citizen developers. Only two of the benefits of a low-code approach are mentioned here, faster application delivery and less hand coding. It is now possible for non-programmers, such as project managers and business analysts, to design and develop mobile applications. By lowering IT backlogs and eliminating shadow technology, non-technical personnel may have a greater effect on the firm. As a result, the system setup is more effective. Emerging innovations are the product of this process. If you don't have programming knowledge, this is a great no-code option. No-code development platforms, NCDPs, enable application software development without conventional computer programming for both developers and non-developers. An organization's leaders may struggle to perform their duties if they lack coding competence. In terms of speeding up application development, Canbo and other no-code development platforms are equivalent to low-code development platforms. As the number of mobile employees rises and software professionals become harder to come by, organizations are turning to these platforms for aid. Project and workflow management can be handled by information workers using Canbo. Processes, for example, are long-term behaviors required to achieve a certain objective. Canbo's platform has all of the features that employees need to effectively manage projects and procedures. With the software's building pieces, several teams and departments may interact with each other. The Cycle of Innovation Implementation Step 1. Identify the opportunity and requirements for innovation. The scale, sophistication, and intricacy of the venture, along with consumer expectations, commercial possibilities, regulation, access to new technology, and so on, all play a role in the design phase of a project, this stage is significantly impacted by the aforementioned factors. Step 2. Careful selection of the right innovation. The organization's goals, rewards, and economic edge, including the capacity to apply innovations to other projects, all factor into the choice to implement creative solutions. All of the project's and company's goals must be taken into consideration while evaluating new solutions. Step 3. Creation and Optimization of Innovative Solutions Everyone in the company, from the engineering team to the project manager, has to be on board with a new technology or strategic restructuring. In order to deliver the innovation, the business must deploy the appropriate people and productive resources. Adapting planned actions to the actual circumstance is critical in the planning process. Step 4. Evaluation and Future Application There must be an evaluation as to whether the goals of an initiative have been met. All phases of the innovation process, as well as any connected elements, should be taken into account. The findings should be effectively transferred to other building projects in order to be leveraged in the long run. As a result, after the invention is learned, codified, and reapplied, the process of innovation is complete. Final word. A firm in the construction industry nowadays is particularly sensitive to the growing competitiveness and the general improvement of technology, and this might lead to its eventual downfall. Therefore, construction firms must have a strategy for adopting new advancements across all of their divisions. Managers and team members alike may benefit from a single information center that gives both the large picture and the ability to keep a watch on every excruciating detail. In this instance, the Canbo system comes into action thanks to its unmatched transparency and availability of information that enables comprehensive and organized innovation management across all teams.
construction companies are given a full collection of tools and building blocks to assist them in developing and optimizing an extraordinary communication system that allows them to stay on top of the entire life cycle of an innovative idea from its conception to final execution. Collaboration between teams and between companies may be fostered through Canbo, allowing for a more agile organization that can take advantage of new technologies and innovation.